Hey guys, uh, Malfunction here. Just um, looking at the SNL video from last night, uh, show from last night with um, the Millennial sketch. Um, I was putting it up on on my narratives, um, you know, on this playlist because I thought it was very interesting to um, at the points that it was made in it, and you know, it's interesting because it's so accurately uh, described and portions and like the topics they pick out like right away it talks about these two characters right um okay so hopefully you can hear it for the interaction and then i'll comment on that uh, hey Dave, I'm 26 years old and I'd love to get that health insurance because my company uses a lot of freelancers and we don't get any benefits. Well, it's tough to work in a startup. What's the name of your company? Google. How's that? <laughs> great. We've also got Dylan Knight. How are you, Dylan? I'm doing great, Dave. I'm uh, 25. I have a master's from NYU and I'm an intern at Burger King. <laughs> Once again, the, the big corporations. No. Well... <laughs> Yeah. So this is the thing about uh, like people don't understand older generation. They're going to get to that in a moment. That a lot of young people are getting into play, and uh, not young. Uh, by young, I mean under forty, right? I'm forty five myself. So a lot of young people are basically getting placements, and if you in places by corporations and then. Uh, in business places, large businesses where they're actually are, uh, are you know, they're and they're not they're getting stipends. Is what they used to call it, like just enough to just you know get by, and not even sometimes not even that. And so they're having to live in places that are so expensive they they have to shack up with other people, and so the yeah, and so it's it's interesting that the older generation does not realize this how horrible it is in certain situations to be able to do that and i in the west we we don't have much to complain about when we compare ourselves to the east but still there are certain ways we are we should be living and i i try to explain this to older generation and they say oh when i was this old and i was this oh i could do that oh we we'd raise a family on a farm yeah you had a farm Get it? There is no farm. No people nowadays don't have access to a farm. They're living in cities and boxes. All right. And so let's. Yeah, I'm going to carry on. It's, uh, it's about five minutes. It's good. There you go. The older generation, as I was saying. Right. So. Back in the 60s and the 70s, people did not live to be about 100. All right. So last week on on uh, a a British pop star or someone, you know, said, "Why are we having to pay work so hard to pay for the older generation to live?" And then they go, "Oh, you're not even grateful for us for doing this." It's like, yeah, but you take you're making us pay more taxes so that you can carry on doing your thing, and it's it's a way of thing. It's like. You know, you've got millions hidden away. You're getting the pension. You're getting all that. You know, that's fine. But then you're complaining about us, how hard we're finding it. And I just find that quite offensive as as a young person, I guess, half their age. I'm 45. You know, still finding it hard, you know. And I don't mean I'm personally finding it. I'm finding it hard for other people around me. Families who have to, you know... Yeah, who are struggling, and I see it for them, and I go, ah, you know, and then then I the other year I get someone going, oh, you, you know, oh, you you guys have so easy, you millennials, and I'm like, hey, you don't know crap. It's annoys the crap out of me when I hear it. Anyway. Yeah, they 
have a home, they have a roof over their head, they have all the money, then they complain about us for not having it. I, yeah, it's really hard. I had a discussion a little while ago uh, with someone, I tried to explain to them in the 80s, and I said, you don't really get it because you're not talking with these guys, people who are struggling. You're in your own little age group, you know, the older age group, and you see through that thing. You don't see the younger group who are struggling. You don't, you're not there with them. For the last few years, I've, I've, I've lived with solo mums, and you know, raising children, and finding it so hard, even doing work, or going to school, and then making sure the kids are paid. Uh, they have, you know, the kids are, have time to play, the kids have time to eat, I mean not time to eat, but I mean they have food, I clothe it, and so on. And so I kind of wonder, like, this whole age gap is like, you know, people have lost sight of what it was like, and so they look back on the past, this whole nostalgia thing is so horrible that people just look past the horribleness of it, where police are right now you know, getting, they can do whatever the fuck they want, right, in America, basically, as well as do all the good, and then people go, oh, it's because they're all criminals, see, you just kind of typecast everybody, you stereotype everybody, just like the millennials, everybody's stereotyping them, I mean, stereotyping them into one group, sure, there might be some who have it easy, but the majority don't have it easy, right, and so, sure, there are some famous actors, and there are a whole bunch of others who are just waiting tables trying to make it pay, make it week to week or day to day, right? Struggling. And so the problem with media is is that and that's the whole point of my narr the narrative, right? Is that to show you what the media does. It picks on the one group of one handful of people and highlights the shit out of them. Because that means that by then they have a group to aim all their frustrations at. So you're distracted from other stuff, all right? You're distracted what's really going on. You're getting fully medicated. You're living longer. You have access to whatever you want. You have homes, you have cars, you have clothing, you have a roof, you have a big garden. You have to, you enjoy all this. You can carry on driving wherever you want. You can carry on whatever doing whatever you want because now you have it all but what about the people who don't right what about all those people who are struggling as soon as they get out of work out of, out of school they have no jobs at all because robots are taking over the jobs or new refugees are arriving or people who just are struggling don't have the education are taking the low-income jobs without education so there's no there's no jobs available and so they don't want to go into edu further education because it's so expensive to get into education right and then they come out with that degree now they have a loan so now they are stuck in a debt situation where guess what in the old days you could go you had a farm right but remember when suddenly all this farm were gone you know when the bank took your farm, and how, how horrible was the struggle? That's what it's like being a millennial. Society's basically changed, all right? Jobs are disappearing because big corporations don't want harassment suits or anything like that. They don't want anybody complaining about any little thing, so they put putting robots in. And I don't mean by walking robots, androids. That's totally different. I'm talking about machines, the counters, where you go zap, Nobody there to pack your bags. Nobody there to say hello. The machine just, please try again. Please push it across again. Cannot read barcode. Please try again. Do you know how many times you have to do that before you get so frustrated? So you jump in the car very angry. People are in the car and now they're angry. And you're taking it out on them. Because the machine's not going to do anything. So it's a flow and effect. And all that frustration is creating all this anxiety in our culture and people don't realize that so hopefully you get around to watch the millennial millennial sketch 
from this past weekend's SNL. It was really good. Uh, yeah, it was really good. It's really worth watching. And hopefully you're an old person. And if you don't have, a, if you don't know anybody who's an old person watching this, sh tell them to watch that sketch. It was really good. And the other thing I like about this weekend sketch was the show itself was really good. There's a lot of things covered, right? The last one of the last ones, uh, the the Twitter one about Ken was really good. Hopefully people got it because that's worth watching. And the other one about the dog training lady who wrote a book about how to train your husband. Yeah, that was very on par. And you could hear the audience not laugh at it because they got it. Because, you know, the whole toxic, toxic, toxic masculinity. I can't even say the word. I hate that word so much. It's like, if you, there's only, if you speak out and say you do not agree with something, you're a toxic masculine man. That's sad. Anyway, check out this and everything. Kakitiano.